Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this segment, I Hi. want to talk about. Our good friend Jarris. He thought he was going to get off, but also his birthday was in May. Yep. <laughs> I won't tell you exactly what day it was so that you uh, don't steal his identity. I'm assuming that's the only. Please don't. That's steal the only my reason identity. why he didn't remind us it was his birthday. Um, I think actually it might have been a break week. Or I something. think it was a break. I'm week. not sure, but we're gonna all yeah. make Jarris super uncomfortable and tell stories about how great Jarris is for my segment. <laughs> I like how he's really good at interrogating me about awkward moments in my life. I, I love how he derails everything. It's one of my favorite things. He's the best tall yes. dad. Oh my god, he is so good at that. Um, I I love how honest- um <laughs> you're 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 so you're, you're a very direct and real dude. Um and uh honestly like you kind of called me out on my bullshit a few couple times uh and i think it is well i know it's made me a better person as a result of it so uh yeah you're just a really great dude my my favorite you're already a good dude hutch you just (laughs) beat yourself up too much you know that's actually what i'm going to also bring up is jaris and i have known each other for a long time and we've gone through the whole emotional gamut of like feelings towards each other but one of the best things about uh jaris is that he always uh evaluates himself to such a critical point that he is constantly becoming a much better person at all times and by being his friend, I have also learned to do that. Um, not to the same skill base that he has, but I don't think I would be as good of a person without Jairus in my life. Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like Jairus has taught me how to have conversations with people that I don't know. Exactly. Um, he taught me that people love to talk about the things that they know and love. So if you just ask them questions about that thing, you're already like getting on their good side and becoming like a great conversationalist in their eyes. Mm-hmm. I think I used to have this idea that I needed to know something about the topic that everyone was talking about. And I kind of thought if I can fake it, pretend like I know about it, maybe I can edge into the conversation. But people who do that are fucking annoying. Like, it's okay to be like, I don't know about this. Tell me about it. And that opens so many doors. People love that. (laughs) Yeah. And also you're being more genuine. So people aren't like, who the fuck is this asshole? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's like a really cool skill that Jairus taught me. So, Uh, hell yeah. (laughs) Also, when we first... When I first when I first met Jairus, uh, he uh, one of the things I think uh, he still is really good about is being a wordsmith and using the, his vocabulary. But he uses it, and this is something that we talked about right before the episode started, was that he uses it uh, without wild abandonment. He uses it with purpose and meaning. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's one of those things where, like, yeah, sometimes he'll have he'll do a lot of fun and do some wordplay and it's always fun and whatnot, but he will get to the point and say exactly what he means as well. And it's it's one of those things where I've actually um like I use him as an example all the time in my thoughts when I'm trying to like focus what I want to say before I say it. Um and that's just like I've always used him as an example of that. Like, wow, I really want to be more like that. And, you know, I've always appreciated that about him. One of my favorite memories is when we um, got our free VIP tickets to ECDC <laughs> and we were allowed to put like our title or like stupid made up titles under our names on our badges. And this is back when he was just a blog that regurgitated uh, like gaming news. And we also had opinion pieces. But Jairus' um, title was Word Wizard, but they misspelled it, and it said Word Wizard. <laughs> 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 and it was like on e- any person of our group to misspell a word, it was Jairus. The one about words. <laughs> the one about words, which was so funny. So to this day, I still am like, Jairus, Word Wizard. <laughs> I, um... 
What? I, I don't think I have a, a more favorite uh, fan fiction uh, writer than, <laughs> <laughs> than you, Jairus. Uh, whether it's, uh, what you. was it? Uh, we can make that a stretch it, it, goal. Were, it was a Sonic and Fast and the Furious crossover. What was it, Mario? I forget. <laughs> It's, mm, uh, it was Mario. <laughs> yeah, it was Mario. Mario. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's oh, all those marathons blend together. <sighs> um, pretty good. Uh, Jairus has one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met. Like he does, it's not something he likes to advertise so much. Um, but he is a giant loving individual, and will put many other people in front of him to see them be their best selves and one of the most shining examples of this is the mega marathon would not exist without jaris <laughs> i like we i i fucked up financially more than once and uh the first mega marathon he gladly put the money up front so we could go ahead and get a hotel room and it could happen yeah and like i paid him back afterwards but uh, he didn't know that also, we crammed him into my... The dark part of that story is that I only had that money because I didn't have a bank account at the time. <laughs> well, I mean, me and you have both been in the worst financial uh, straits that people can be in. And at, often at the we're, same time... We're both just lucky yeah, to have a Yeah, so roof. Like, there's been some moments that I think we just looked at each other and been like... I I think that's really where we became friends. Like uh, we've always known each other, and we we uh, when I first met you, I don't think we really liked each other. Uh, or and no, I I, I don't remember us. And each when other. Uh, we started working together with Heat and whatnot, I think it was just a mutually beneficial situation. I saw your intelligence and I saw your opinions, and I knew you would do a great job. So I was like, yeah, sure, fuck it, jump on board. But that was not a friendship thing. That was me seeing an individual value and using them. Uh, yeah. But through that relationship yeah. um, and through the hardships of understanding each other, uh, I found one of the best human beings I've ever met. And because of that, I think we've both grown and found each other and our emotional acceptance. And yeah absolutely um i when i joined the team i was <clears throat> i was in a place where i was clever but that wasn't mm. enough like i wasn't doing anything with that and you were a person who was doing something and you weren't sure what you were doing <laughs> you were just like aggressively throwing spaghetti <laughs> at the wall just like I, is this going to stick i don't know let's fucking find out <laughs> um and there's something liberating in that mm -hmm. action because up until that point and after it to a lesser degree i overthink mm -hmm. everything um and i often allow analysis paralysis to prevent me from executing on a mm -hmm. project um and Michelle is absolutely phenomenal at saying, fuck it, that doesn't matter. Don't let's not think about that yet. Let's just try something and, and get it fucking out there. And that's a really good thing. That's that's a really valuable mindset and skill set to deploy. Um, and that's that's the thing that you taught me. Um I am so glad also that three of my closest friends <laughs> uh, uh, i agree <laughs> that, that that you view me in that way so my favorite uh my other favorite thing about jairus is that you can say the nicest sweetest things that you can about him and he'll be like yeah you're right but you also you <laughs> no you no you you're the good <laughs> at all 
That's entirely because I'm uncomfortable yeah. with I know, compliments. I know. <laughs> and I think that's actually, um, Brittany brought this up beforehand. She was like, yeah, Jairus is going to hate this because he hates being complimented, but I'm going to make him get used to it. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually had a lot of practice at work well, because uh, I've been, this is going to sound really cringe, but I mean, I, I came up with this idea to like kind of boost morale in our shipping department. So I made what I'm calling a positivity board and basically the original idea was just so that our customer like we could see the customers who were happy with the things they got because we hear a lot of negatives and it kind of gave um some of the people working there were kind of getting bad attitudes about our customers and we shouldn't be that way because most of our customers are great and they're the reason why we have this amazing job so i was like okay i'm gonna wade through all this shit on the internet and I'm going to find the good stuff. I'm going to print it out and put it on the board so you can see it. But another aspect of it was um, if you are if you have a coworker you want to shout out for doing a good job, you can write it on a post-it note and put it up. Also have like a free little envelope for wholesome memes if you need a meme to pick you up or whatever. And I, I brought this in with the <laughs> expectation of like, oh, everyone's going to think this is stupid. No one's going to like it. And of course, everyone did make fun of me about it, but everyone is also using the board. <laughs> And then right. I am seeing people interact with each other in a different way now. Um, and it's really interesting. Yeah. And a lot of the guys, I learned this about just like men in general are really bad about accepting compliments because they don't really get them a lot. Um, so I've been working with everyone yeah. at work to accept compliments. And it's more of like, I have to do like a tough love with them. I say, hey, fuck face, you're a good person. So just say thank you when I compliment you. <laughs> And I have to say it in that way well, so that I, they're I, like, okay, I, fine. <laughs> I, I think that's part of why we get along, Brittany, is because you have a very similar mm-hmm. wiring. Um, and, and like most of the times the compliments between the two of us is like, fucking you're brilliant or whatever, yeah. I guess. Like, no big deal. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Because I have the same issues. I also am really bad about taking compliments. Yeah. Um, so that's also something I'm also working on. But I honestly, like, I love, like, you and I will be in a situation and we'll just look at each other and be like, what the fuck is going on here? And just, like, give each other, like, the eye of, like, <laughs> oh, what the hell? And so I always appreciated that. <laughs> yeah. I- it's really hard to get into this and it's not something that i think jaris and i have ever been we've always been very publicly about like our opinions of ourselves and how we've grew from like uh dislike to like close friends and whatnot that's nothing we've ever hidden but jaris and i uh, have had like two or three moments of just clarity amongst each other mm-hmm. and i don't have this with many human beings like period i've never had a moment where like me and jaris it was right outside i think the first time this happened was right outside of the um uh, american underground during the uh peter molyneux durham event and i was i was being bossy because at this point i was that's who you are sometimes yeah yeah (laughs) i've and i was way worse at the time and and i was trying to solve an issue and he knew how to solve it he knew how to solve it but at the time i was micromanaging everything and he just came to me and he's just like you don't have the uh you don't have the energy gamut to be able to process all this right now and that's why you're being a shitty person at the moment i'm not telling you this because to tell you that you're shitty i'm telling you this so that i can help you so you won't be have to be shitty anymore and you can feel better Mm -hmm. and he just he said it in such a way that most people i think would take it as a problem or be like that's a mean thing to say but i think he and i understand each other to a point especially at this time period where i was just like oh okay I get it. I, it's like, go eat a Snickers bar. You're being shitty. Yeah. And that's basically what he told me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh, God, I am being that person. And I think that's one of the best things about Jairus is that he uh, self-actualizes so much that when he sees other people, he's really great about seeing the issue underlying underneath that they're trying to hide mm-hmm. and can get to, get to the um, point of just like, hey, you need to deal with this situation in this way or let me listen to your problem about this thing because that's obviously bothering you and i've like it's one of your fantastic skills that i wish more people had and uh yeah 
just uh, I think one of the other times, <laughs> I every time we've had this moment, it's me being shitty to Jairus, and I feel bad about that. But <laughs> <laughs> we've had those moments. No, that's just what yeah. you remember, like because those like that that dichotomy. Like I I always think about that massive argument that we had in yep. the car um, where I was being shitty and you just like cut through all of that and then we both yelled and cried and then felt better and you hugged. know i'm i i think we're having a moment right now because i'm misremembering that maybe but i really don't remember you ever being mean in that moment i remember you just being extremely like open and I remember you being like uh, the the first time I think you were emotionally, really emotionally honest with me about yourself. And I just I'm going to whatever. Um, and all I remember is yelling at you and feeling insanely bad at you, uh, bad about yelling at you. I, I remember the inverse of that. <laughs> I remember yelling at you and feeling insanely bad. And I think I think that's the sign of a of a good moment yeah. for both, because like. In all likelihood, we were both shitty mm-hmm. to each other and then both felt guilty yeah. about it. Um, and then the way that that lodges in our brain is just us remembering ourselves being shitty and the other person being uh, articulate and reasonable <laughs> uh, and making us like come to a conclusion and then feel feel bad, but mm-hmm. then good. Mm-hmm. About yeah. It, uh, also, that know. was the day I, I um, it was an interesting day because we were doing a recording for your father or we were doing a stream for your father. Yeah. And I had gotten to know your dad pretty well because of like your uh, my yes. hospitalization. So I knew your dad very well, but I'd never <laughs> seen him outside of that context. So when mm-hmm. I got to see him for the first time in a happy setting, and me and you came there, and we were both pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and he did not know how to handle that situation. <laughs> and then right after that, me and you got, like, we had, like, a, a civil conversation outside of it. And, like, came back, and we were, like, our best selves. <laughs> and he was just like, I could yeah. see his face, and he's just like, what the fuck is going on with these two people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I just it made me really appreciate you and your dad. <laughs> also, that night was a lot of well, fun. I mean, that's yeah, that's that's why I love all of you, and that's that's why mm-hmm. I love you. Is that we can we can have those moments where we're right, and we can have those moments when we're wrong. Yeah, and that's hard. There are so many other relationships in all of our lives where we have to be the person who is right either professionally or or interpersonally, not like interpersonal relationships exist anymore because of COVID, (laughs) but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good goal and objective to get to with friends is to allow yourself to be vulnerable and allow, like evaluate the the people in your life and figure out if they're the kind of person that you can trust and care mm-hmm. about uh and be emotionally vulnerable with and if the answer is no across the board you yeah. need to find better friends I, honestly that that screams so much to me like i i i I've never like talked about this, but it's one of those things that I've a- actively been doing is like ever since like I think it's pretty much when we moved in with Hutch and we were all living together for a short time. I actively like moved myself away from many, many, many friendships at the time mm-hmm. that were not really friendships. They were just yeah. people that were there. And <clears throat> I I just didn't want I learned and when we were all together to uh, value the people that really meant something to me and to not waste my energy on others that were just energy wasting. And it, I I just, yeah, I think that was something that we've learned all together too. And Jairus was, I really do think Jairus is like the focus point of that because he's just been really joined my (laughs) cult. He's always, you've always been really great of like verbalizing what all of us are feeling. 
Well, I wanted to tell you happy belated birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, instead of uh, the torture of being sung happy birthday, which is only like a minute long, instead we were going to talk for about 20 minutes about you. So <laughs> you survived. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like how many times yes. I tried to deflect yes, that away from myself? You did it successfully two times. I, yeah. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate that Brittany keeps just like, no, no, this is the intent. This is what we're doing. This is what happened. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Say nice things. Sorry, Jairus, but we love you and we want to tell you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Well, with that, we'll go on to the next segment and let, let Jairus have a little reprieve. <laughs> and uh, we'll Smash, we'll see you all on the like, next segment. Bye. 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 Subscribe. <laughs>